Assalamu alaikum welcome back my friends to my new tutorials of our Siemens TIA portal version 14 with factory IO simulation so in this uh, uh, tutorial I am just uh, creating a program for buffer station and also I am showing you how we created a tax in our TIA portal so just check that ke how I we all created a tag so first of all I am just showing you here are the tags you will see the counter tags I am going to just delete it you will see the counter DINT and QD38 I am also show you in our factory IO so I am just going to my PLC thing you see counter DINT and is double integer and QD38 so how we created a tag in it so I just you can see it is deleted I will name it a counter and uh, I just name it uh, DINT double integer and you will see that it is QD38 so exactly same we are going to when we need a real so I just go into there select real and QD30 and if we are going to use our boolean integer so we use just stop blade you will see Q0.0 same as i0.7 so you will see the q0.0 as a stop plate and as a boolean you will see i will select it from there so as a boolean so i am now going to three going to my main object so you will see it is our main object already now i am going to open add a new block so i am going to add a new block which is function call and i am just using as a buffer station so I am just write as a buffer station you will see buffer station and ok now our new block is created so that's on and now I am just show you where is the buffer station so you will see here is an, uh, uh, our digital sensor which is also as an NC sensor it is also as an NC sensor so we control our conveyor from our uh, that the potentiometer you will show that the potentiometer I am just going to open it you will see the potentiometer is working so he we will increase and decrease our speed it is there here is an emergency button and either our digital display for our counter for our reading and here is an auto manual button we only created a program for only auto so you will see we working of only auto so just I am going to create a program first I need an auto so I use an auto and then I need another I am just going to start and I am going to set what I need to set what I am going to set our start light because we need to show that for the start light is working and also we need to set our stop blade so I am going to set a stop blade and I am going to need another and I am just using the move so we also use move we set we need we also use move from there you will see it is there and it is a move the move lock is also there so I am just need to move 3.0 to over a QD30 what is our QD30 sorry our tag is created and just going to run in QD30 QD30 and which is our buffer conveyor now our QD30 is really now I am going to make a program for the stuff and I am just using an auto and we will see as a stop and I am just uh, what I am going to set as the stop light and deset our start light so reset start light and also I am just need to reset it there our start light so start light resetting start light oh sorry stop light stop light 
and now I am just directly move which thing we need to move we need workload and I am going also use the move I also need there so I just need to move so move 0.0 in both conveyor one conveyor is buffer conveyor so you will see buffer conveyor and also we need to move our QD34 so what is our QD34 the QD34 is our exit conveyor now I am just uh, add another and I am just select an auto and I need a rising edge so what uh, I am going there and select as a rising edge and I am just use it at buffer entry and I am just use the tag in 0.0, .0. so I, you will see how we name it so I am just click it rename a tag and I am going to name it uh, buffer uh, sorry, buffer entry and name it uh, I'm going to name it buffer entry memory bit so I'm just use the memory and now I'm just uh, select as an increment so how I need it increment I'm just uh, going to math overflow and you will see that increment is there so why we need increment we need increment because they uh, every time it may increment only one ratio when we when we even when the sensor pass through it so I am just using QD38 which is counter so counter increase our and I am just also use as a set as a stop plate so where is our set so I am going to set a stop plate so stop plate is there now I'm just making another just use an auto and I'm now I'm using as a negative edge there so which things we are need to use at buffer exit at buffer exit we need to reset stop plate reset stop plate and I'm going to another there just use an auto because we use NC sensor so you will must know why using add buffer entry sorry we use add at exit at, sorry at exit at exit now we need to set our stop plate again now I just treat is my mark going to my last command. I'm just use as an auto and just every know that our stop button is on and now I'm just directly use move. So move and our potentiometer input. You will see that the potentiometer input, what is our potentiometer input is buffer well and buffer well is our potentiometer input so we use the buffer you will see buffer well is our potentiometer input and also the QD34 and what is QD34 is our exit conveyor and now I am just compiling it go to buffer station select it to there Again, I am just using the testing, change environment, call environment, transferly adjusted to main because it's only read only on main. So I am just again compiling it and just save my project and start my simulation. So my simulation you will see is now going to start, it is now loading over. So we will see our program is it working or not. I just created a handmade so I just uh, because you know if any problem there to be we try to remove them so if any problem in our uh, programs it will show 
us when we compiling it when we try to check it so we are going to load it and configure PLC why our PLC is configured now it is configured now we just going to configure and you will see our setting is correct now just for station and and just again try to minimize it uh, that's enough I think first we need to check our start is working so maybe I think now I'm just going to zoom out that and and now so I am just forget to make an auto now it is an auto mode we will see auto is working and now you will see our start button is working and our 3.0 is when it touches the conveyor it will stop and because we forget to our speed so when we increase our speed you will see it is now so maybe I need to minimize that speed so how I minimize that you will see there so maximum time I need to is 5 and 6 so see the working 12 box passes Buffer value is value shown So you will see where is your buffer value. You will see counter increment too. Then you will also see the working of our buffer. That buffer is working or not. So you will see the setting of stop rate and this is that exit is not working just forget it I think you let it in oh I think auto is not on again it is continuously happy maybe our potential test is sorry I again forget that now I am going to show you here is our you will see the 10.0 we are going to move so I am just try to minimize it you will see it is now speed going to 7 and I am just again this is 3.3 the port speed are same so you will see it is working so I just don't make a complex program so I just I remove error from it display very easily but uh, you can you will remove that I will just make it to show you that how it is working so thank you very much for watching my videos please subscribe my channel like my videos and comments if you don't understand anything uh, I did in the descriptions I uh, give links of my of my Indosoft SCADA and uh, Ignition SCADA tutorials and any other tutorials of our factory IO or TIA portal PLC scene so you will see it from there and also in the description I gave my WhatsApp number my email and um, and more uh, details over LinkedIn so you will follow me on the LinkedIn and whatsapp me or contact me on email if you want to learn any other thing so we i am as the same name as a facebook so if you will try to connect me make a message then i will inshallah i will respond to you so thank you very much again